हेलो फ्रेंड सतीश तिवारी हियर फ्रॉम मिथिकल हैकिंग ट्यूशन सेंटर जयपुर एंड यू गाइज आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल स्लैश रूट डॉट इन एंड टुडे इन दिस टूटर आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर यू अबाउट द नॉलेज ऑफ हाउ यू कैन कॉन्फ़िगर सांबा ओके सांबा सर्विस ऑन योर उबुंतु मशीन सो दिस इज माई उबुंतु ट्वेंटी टू ऑन एंड दिस उबुंतु ट्वेंटी टू आई एम गोइंग टू कन्फिगर सांबा सर्वर सांबा सर्वर इज यूज टू शेयर डेटा बिटवीन क्रोस प्लेटफॉर्म लाइक विंडोज टू लिनेक्स Okay, so your Linux is uh, you, you have a Linux server and you want to share data with Windows machine or Windows client or Windows server. You can do that using Samba. So uh, <coughs> let's see how to configure Samba so that whenever you need this, you can do that. So just check the IP address of your server first. So the command is sudo if config. Okay, sudo if config. Remember, if if config command will not uh, working in the yes, first of all check the IP address 192.168.29.11. This is my IP address of my Ubuntu machine. Clear this screen. Now, in some people, if uh, your this if config command is not working, then you have to install this package. sudo apt install net tools. Okay, if this command is not, so if you install this, it will work. Okay, then you can able to run the if config command. Now. <coughs> First task is after checking the IP address, we we are going to install the package for Samba. That is sudo apt install Samba. Okay, let's check the spelling. Everything okay? Okay, press enter. Press press Y for yes. Once the package will be installed, we will allow the firewall. Okay, we will tell the firewall that hey, allow allow us to work. In your environment, in the safe environment, so we will ask firewall to allow Samba. Let's see how I am going to ask firewall to allow me or allow Samba. Just clear this screen. Package has been successfully installed. First step done. Now I am going to allow sudo ufw allow Samba. Very simple, okay. Just type ufw allow samba and done. Samba service has been allowed. Now uh, just go to cd and I am Satish user. So what is my current directory? So by default right now I am in home slash Satish. Home slash Satish. So inside this I am going to create a directory uh, which I am going to share with my samba users or my samba client. So let's create a directory name mkdir suppose samba share. Okay, so I have created a folder name Samba Share. Now uh, I'm going inside the configuration file of Samba and make this entry. So go to first of all go to Samba Share and create some file Samba Share and create some file for demonstration. Okay, so touch a dot dot z suppose dot exe. So I have created so many exe file from a to z a dot exe b dot exe up to z dot exe. Now I am going to the configuration file of Samba. So what is the configuration file for Samba? See, sudo nano editor. I am going inside the configuration file of Samba. It is Samba smb dot com. This is the configuration file for Samba. And when you open this file, go to at the bottom of this configuration file. Okay, you have to go to the bottom last line. So I am using my arrow key and going to the last line of this. Configuration file and this I am going to add the folder name. So what is the folder name? I have created Samba share. This is the folder name I have created. Okay. Now what is the path? So you remember the path? The path is what is the path? Slash home slash satis and then the name of the folder Samba share. Be careful by giving the path. Okay. And then read only. Read only is equal to no because we don't want to give only read only permission. We want to give write permission also. Okay, and then you can type browsable. S A B L E. Okay, browsable is equal to yes. Client can browse this service. Okay, so we have mentioned this browsable is equal to yes. That's all. Then save this one. Okay, not save in this way. Browser is for Control X. Control X. Y. Enter. 
done we have saved the configuration file now it's time to restart the services sudo no, but before that we have to set the password samba password for this user smb password hyphen a for each user the name of the user is satish satish give any password suppose one two three four five one two three four five done now restart the service for samba sudo service smbd restart and done okay once you restart done so what is the ip address you know the ip address you do if config okay that is the ip address 29.11 okay and now go to windows machine press windows plus r key windows key plus r key together and here you have to type slash slash and the ip address of the ubuntu machine that is samba server 29.111 okay only one one press enter it's asking the username what is the samba username satish what is the samba password one two three four five press enter and here it is samba share folder you can see and you can see the file i have created a to z exe file and those files are here if you right click here click new folder and here it is you can see you are able to create a folder so i am going to create a folder hacked so this folder has been created on samba server if you go to samba server let's see here ls and you can see here the hack folder has been created here okay if you want to create more file you will create more file here like touch one dot dot take hundred dot pdf file so it will create pdf file one two hundred pdf file and that file will be visible inside this windows machine too so you can see in this windows machine also i am able to show those those pdf files okay so in this way you can share data from windows to linux and linux to windows using samba server i hope you understand this server is very important because whenever you want to share any package or any data through windows to linux or linux materials to windows you need this service samba service i hope you understand if still you have any doubt you can ask me through the comment section and what and which uh, wait for the next video thank you